Scorpion PSA 8.0 Advanced Quota Options Settings. In Scorpion PSA 8.0, you have some options you can set in uh, preset for doing quotes. If we take a quick look at a quote, 23655, we'll see that we have a pricing option, reseller, and enhancements options, and a scope of work option. Under the scope of work option, you have scope presets that you can define. So if there are particular ways that you want to do things uh, that are repetitive for quotes, you can define these scope presets and simply pull them in to the quote, and then that way you don't have to retype them. To set these scope uh, options, we'll get out of the quote here, and you go to the setup and you go to the application settings. Now, application settings is the uh, core of Scorpion where everything is pre-programmed. So we'll find the quote options tab which is up here at the top in the middle and we click on that. And we can see here that we have the quote scope presets. Simply create your preset testing and then click out of that to save it. Now click back in it and then at the bottom here you can type in that scope of work testing. So, for example, if you had one that was for printer cleaning uh, an HP 4100 and there were some particular ways that you wanted that to be cleaned or some things uh, that you wanted consistent when we did a quote for that particular job, you could simply type that in here. And these are unlimited, so you can go in and create as many types of uh, scope presets that you want. On the left-hand side, you see the quote status options. Here, you can change, edit, or add different types of quote status options. So if we close that back out and we go back into our quote, we'll be able to see our test item under the scope of work that we created. And there it is. Now you have two options when setting up, uh, when pulling in scope presets. If you've pulled one in, but you may want to pull in another scope preset because this is a complicated job and it involves more than one option, you can simply pull in the second one uh, and it will add it to, well, we'll just pull in testing here and we'll see that it uh, added it to the bottom of the other one. You can also replace the scope data by checking that box and simply pulling in the other one. And you can edit your scope right here and create new ones on the fly if you want. If it doesn't exist here, testing two, testing, oops, testing two. So now you can add things on the fly and build your scope options dynamically. If you click down in the list, you, you'll see it dynamically in there and you can select that. Thank you for attending today's training on quote advanced quote options.